What's up supernovas? I'm Chanel and this is Spirited Stardust and today we are looking at Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle by Lucy Cavendish and artwork by Selena Fennec. There are 47 cards and a 188 page guidebook. You are invited to enter the realm of fairy. The Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle is your doorway into the magical realm of the fairy. Each gloriously illustrated card is brimming with secrets, messages, insights and guidance directly from the most helpful and wise of nature's guardians. Delivering clear messages and direct and loving guidance, easy to read yet deep, mystical and rich, the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle includes an in-depth guidebook revealing the secret law of the fairy realm, as well as clear lessons on how to connect, create, nurture deep relationships with your own fairy guardians and allies. The included card layout allows you to give powerful, insightful and accurate readings for yourself and others. When you connect with the fae, their powerful natural magics can assist with healing and enhancing your health activating vivid psychic abilities, gaining insight and direction within your relationships, and awakening your innate connection to abundance. Your life then becomes an inspirational experience full of meaning and joy. Your own ability to see, sense, and feel the fairy, the fae, accurately would grow stronger and clearer each time you work with this enchanting, inspiring deck steeped in authentic, deep fairy magics. So, this deck is a bit of just a giant pack box, basically. Let me slide it out. Slippy slidey. Okay, we've got the guidebook. And we've got the cards. Off you get. God, I'm puffed out just from doing that. I always have one. Oh, this one. No. These three. Okay. So these are the backs. And they are gloss. Glossy, glossy, glossy. Move them over here. Let's get the cover back. So I've popped in the pool out there. There you go, my dear. You can just go over there. And the guidebook. Big book. She is a big one. Okay. All about the fae and how to work with them. How to work with the fairies. The different, um, what do you call them? Of the, uh, um, Festivals, festivals, that's the word I was looking for. There are the spreads and closing thoughts. And then you've got the card with like a subtitle about the card, divinatory meanings and reversed meaning. Put her down there. And right on cue, Kitty Cat came. Fairy tales. Gossamer Princess. Catch me. Light the darkness. Glimpse. Stolen in her sleep. Her special place. Acorn's invitation. Green man's bride. Shimmer. Green man's door. Mother and daughter. Oh, so cute. Dragon's pet. Child of the moon. Midnight prince. The secret path. Fairy lovers. Keeper of secrets. Three graces. Solace, scared to fly, once was innocent, gatekeeper, story keeper, secret doorway, dark moon, fairy wishing well, cry for nature, Silver Sisters. I don't know why that reminds me of the White Chick Sisters. The Unicorn and the Maiden. Crystal Magic. Snail's Pace. Follow Me. Golden Gift. The Grail Fairy. Little Boy Blue. Into the woods. One moment. 
doorbell rang. And it was a book package for my little kiddo. And delivered by a lady wearing a dress full of pentagrams. <laughs> Pretty cool. Far, far away. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty's Truth. The Merlin. Stardust. Riddle Fisher. The Gift. Carry Me Home. The Littlest Fairy. Barnabas and the Prince. All right, let's have a look. Oh, this one seems to want to come out. <laughs> Not the most um, prettiest card, but you know, messages come in all forms, on shapes, on sizes. Okay, number 14. And I'm going to take a seat so I can read this in a relaxed way. Okay, ready. Sorry. Oh God, I've made a mess of things. Ancestors, ancestral line and generational shift. A tiny bright childlike fairy straddles the grizzled head of a fairy elder. What can this mean? In fairy lore, the head is particularly significant. It is the head that inspiration, fire and power are said to reside. The fairy told the ancient Celts of this secret and the Celts then venerated and collected the heads of the heroes slain, which often were said to live long after the body had passed away. And this small bright fairy is hearing of all the wisdom this old being has. He is sharing, telling and communicating. And while she may seem playful, she is attending to his every word and she will remember for generations to come. You see, fairies do not live forever, though they live very long lives, a great deal longer than any humans do, or even the ones with human blood. However, they do fade away. And the small fairy being atop the head of the old one will ensure the knowledge continues on. On another level, the small brightness of the fairy represents inspiration, the muse, the fire in the head, which we speak of in Celtic shamanism. It is when we feel and see and know that connection to all that is, when we are afire with inspiration and ideas that flow to us and from us and within us, that we are restored to our true self. This beautiful ancient being whose light is fading is passing on this wisdom into the keeping of the young and often underestimated. Listen to the elders, find a playful wise elder from whom you can learn. Seek out relatives and ancestor wisdom. Search through your family tree for evidence of the magics within you. They are there. Old wise ones have messages for you and you can learn much from them. Allow them to pass on their wisdom to you so a living tradition continues. Understand that you come from a long line of wise ones and connect with those elders. A chance encounter with an older person gives you much to think about. You will learn a great deal at this time if you connect with older people. Do not be afraid of growing older. You will never die, your light will be passed on, and your soul spark will return to source, to starfire, to be renewed again, only as you agree to. Reversed meaning. Only sticking to people your own age, knowing little about your older relatives, mistrusting people who are older, stereotypical thinking and beliefs about older people, needing to connect with other older people but feeling cut off from them, feeling they are unlike you, believing that the generation gap is too wide to be bridged or bloodlines don't matter, Denying your DNA, wanting to cut yourself off from your family of origin and their history and traditions. And that is the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle by Lucy Cavendish. And as always, stay wild, Starchild.